Now, the tourism sector in the country has received a major boost as numerous tourists from across the world start flocking the Maasai Mara Game Reserve to witness the wildebeest migration that has just begun. And as Steve Keter, our reporter, now tells us, most of the hotels and camps within the reserve and outside have their bookings at full capacity, as both local and international tourists are keen to witness one of the seven wonders of the world. At the Kenyan side of the Sand River crossing point, the first batch of wildebeest enjoy the lush pasture of the Maasai Mara Reserve. They are in their hundreds, but soon they will be over a million, as they gather momentum to make their annual ritual of crossing the Mara River. They will go to the, to the uh, eastern part of the reserve, uh, west, now west, going western, they start now crossing the Mara River, the main crossing. The migration is an important ritual in the wildebeest life cycle that see the animals cross to Maasai Mara in Kenya from mid-July to August. Here, the animals will graze and mate for about four months. Hali and Zach Yeni from Philadelphia in the United States of America chose to have their honeymoon in the Maasai Mara to witness the migration. They are among hundreds of tourists who have already arrived at the reserve to catch a glimpse of the nature's wonders. And, that every, and as we were planning our trip, every person told us that the only problem is that nothing we do after this will ever compare. Yeah. And that this will just be like, and we just had heard that you see so many animals. We got to be here to see all these animals come to life. That's the only way. You got to be here to see it. TV will not do it for you. Here in Africa, we'll get the job done. Players in the tourism sector are positive about the industry recovering from the major heat in business caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we are looking at you know, full capacity um, occupancies uh, for this month. A month to mid-September, I can confidently say we've seen numbers that we didn't even see for COVID. We're seeing quite a lot of other uh, requests coming through, uh, so this could actually uh, skyrocket to uh, well over 90. When the grass dries up, the wildebeest will cross back to the Serengeti Reserve in Tanzania where they'll stay for a couple of months before making their journey back to Kenya. Steve Gutter, NTV. All right, from that 